very good morning guys i hope you all well today i'm going to demonstrate you how you can drive a car with the navigation as you know one in five will go without navigation and rest of them will go with the navigation that known as the independent driving if you are going without navigation even then you can do Gemini will tell you to do independent driving but he will tell you to follow the signs for example, he will say, okay, take second road on the left or third, first road on the left or third road on the right or whatever. And after that, he will say, follow the sign for Cheatham Hill or follow the sign for Chadderton or follow the sign for Manchester City Centre or blah, blah, blah. Then you need to follow the signs. But if you're going with the navigation, there are so many learner drivers, they, they can't figure out what navigation is saying and how to follow the set nav. That is why I'm going to upload this video okay so that's very easy but the thing is most of the learner driver what they do they keep looking on a navigation so if you keep looking on a navigation that is where you can make mistakes sometimes you may go in the wrong lane or sometimes you slow down because you are looking on a navigation so obviously or otherwise you may go fast a bit so that is where examiner can penalize you and you can fail your driving test the best thing how to follow the set nav is to listen what navigation is saying so like for example, and navigation will show you few things like warnings well before, like for example, see this blue line and this is a butterfly. This butterfly is your car and you are following this blue line. You can see this white arrow. That is what indicating you where you are turning. So see, this is a black line. This black line, all those black lines are irrelevant roads. It's mean, wherever you see these black roads you're not going there because they are irrelevant roads the how you can take better guide i will guide you when we move off but you just remember that you are a butterfly you're following this blue line so let's start from here first of all and then see what navigation say and how we can do that so let's start from here i'm going to move off like just pretend i am in my 20 minute driving independent driving so I'm checking all my blind spots, indicator and driving. So navigation is taking me. Bear right. So she's saying bear right. So I don't need to look. I'm just listening. So Jane said bear right. So I'm just bear right. Okay, let me pull up on the left to guide you something. Mirror, signal, and nicely brake to stop when I'm close to the curb. Neutral handbrake of the pedals, cancel indicator, and then I'm going to off the pedals. Okay, now look, this black is a left turning. So we are taking this left. So obviously, when we are coming here, we will not signal here. If you signal here, you are misleading other road users, so you will be penalized and you can fail your driving test. So what you will do, you will come as soon as you approach nearby or just after you can give left indicator because you're going left here so when you're going left here you can see this white arrow is guiding you going left then you can see on top here there's another guide you can see big arrow is left and then small arrow is right it's mean after 150 yards we are turning left and then turning right so you can see blue line is coming here and the blue line is going there the how you can follow the set nav so let's start again Checking all my blind spots. Indicator right, move off. Okay, so see, after this black, irrelevant road, I'm checking my mirror. And then I am signaling left. At, At the, the end, end of the road, turn left. So then navigation take saying, the second so right. So she is giving you warning in advance that turn left and then second right. So I'm turning left here. Then approximately 160 yards at the lights, I'm turning right. So I'm checking center, the right After mirror. 100 yards, Signal turn right. right. So she's saying after 100 yards, turn right. And sometime when she come close, she will give you the final warning. She will say, turn right with a different tone. Her tone will be different first. She will be very polite, she say. 160 yards or 150 yards turn right and when you come too close to the junction then she may say 
turn right with a different tone. It means that's your last warning when you're turning right. So let's see. Turn right. See, she said turn right at this time. Before she said 150 yards turn right. The how you can figure out. So when navigation is not saying anything, you keep going straight ahead. So at the moment, navigation is not saying anything. So what I'm doing, my eyes are on the road and I'm going straight ahead. So if I want to see the navigation, I will just have a quick glance. That's it. You will not focus yourself to just keep looking on a navigation. So two second glance is very dangerous. You will just have a very little glance After and eyes back on the road. Yards. Turn left. So she then said, take the third right. Yeah. So she's given me warning in advance, which is very easy. So she's saying 300 yards, turn left, and then third right. So she will say that warning again when I'm going too close. This time she will say, turn left. Turn left. So, then take the third right. So when she said turn left, it means that is the last warning. That is where you need to go. So I'm following this white arrow again. Few more minutes I will keep you with the navigation so I got the warning already we're going left and then turn right you can see there's a white arrow I'm turning and there's a big arrow and then small arrow which is indicating me I am turning left and then after some point I'm turning right so this is a very well in advance warning so what I will do when I turn left I will prepare myself to turn right so how to prepare myself to turn right? Obviously, I will use my MSPSL routine. And if there are two lanes, obviously I will move over to the right hand lane. If there's only one lane, I will just go near the center white line. So let's see what we're gonna do when we turn left here. So we're turning left here, and then we can understand this is a one road at the moment, one lane at the moment, I mean. And After then, 200 yards, turn right. So she's saying after 200 yards, turn right. So I'm not signaling because there's a black one irrelevant road. So after this point, I will check center mirror indicator turn right. right. And I'm in my filter lane already. A priority to the oncoming traffic. I will let him go first. No one else is coming and I'm going to turn right. So what you are doing, you are following this blue line, you are a butterfly at the moment and there's a guide on top. If you want to see the navigation, you will just have a quick glance, you will not keep looking on a navigation. Same as when you're going with the naviga without navigation, then examiner will guide you. What examiner will mention you? He will mention you, okay, you will keep driving the car until unless I direct you turn left or right. So same as when you're driving with the navigation, you're going with the navigation, no need to take any action until unless she says something so at the moment i can see she is taking me straight 500 yards i'm going straight so i have no need to look on my navigation i will just look on the road which lane is going straight if i keep looking on a navigation what happens i may go in a wrong lane then i can fail for my test so better to pay little attention on a navigation not too much i hope you fully understood if you have any question to answer, please you can leave feedback so I will come back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video.